Hello guys. And today I'm going to show you an Aldi Christmas food catalogue. Okay. Now this came through our door, okay? And Aldi usually um drop things through the ad people's doors around this time of year, okay? Like this. Okay, so I usually put a catalogue through people's doors at this time of year, okay? This is what the catalogue cover looks like, okay? This may astonish you when you actually read this, but Aldi is actually considered a budget um, food store, okay? So it's not even considered a deluxe expensive food store. This may astonish you when you see this and the packaging. Well, not the packaging, but the way they've presented the food and also the way they've presented this catalogue, okay? So at the bottom you see the Aldi logo. That's the... Um, supermarket brand it's actually a german supermarket brand but it happens to be over here in britain okay so that's a christmas pudding next page on the next page next two pages it shows you a variety of food including what looks like a turkey some baked potatoes some brussels sprouts maybe and some bread of a food, okay? And obviously somebody drinking, having a wine glass, what it looks like, okay? Um, on the next page, it has some salmon. Now, what I've never understood this, because what salmon has to do with Christmas, I have absolutely no idea. It's not, I've never heard of it being associated with Christmas, but what do I know? Right, so... That's um, some salmon, fish, and here there you know, are various other things. I'll show you the pictures and I'll read what it is. As I can't do both easily at the same time, it's not very easy for me. I'll try, but it isn't easy for me to do both, okay? So it's got the king prawns and... That apparently is king prawn and Patagonian scallop grating. Um, this is cooked black tiger prawns. This is what I call various pate jars. This is scallop gratins. And this is stuffed mushrooms, okay? Thanks, I'll show you the next page, the next couple of pages. Okay, and this is turkey, and in Britain, um, people generally eat turkey as the main on as the main meal on Christmas Day. So you have turkey with baked potatoes and Brussels sprouts and various other things. Okay, and that's this is another turkey. It's showing you various different turkeys you can buy. Um, I'm not an expert on... So it, one of it's a free range bronze turkey. Tur bronze turkey crown. The other one says fresh whole turkey and I think it's got pieces of bacon on it. I don't know if you actually get what you the bacon here with it, or if that's um, yes, it does have the bacon on it. So it has the bacon on top of the turkey, and they've already done it professionally for you. Um, this one is just a turkey. Um, this is another turkey. I don't know what the difference is. I must be stupid, but you know. They've uh, apparently got different prices for this, and I don't understand the difference, but there you go. Maybe, um... No, it says it's a turkey crown, so it's just, um, they remove part of it. Okay. Here. It shows you bit, it shows you some beef.
here it's showing you beef slices and um, let's look at them that says matured sirloin steak um, this one says beef roasting joint this one is um, let's see I'm trying to look at the numbers where the numbers are right this one is a whole leg of lamb this one is a um, what they call a turkey parcel which consists of pork and cranberry stuffing so it's turkey with pork and cranberry stuffing okay okay so that's that page this one shows gammon steaks or joint sorry and it says that um this is a crackling bone um gammon joint um this one is a cranberry and orange gin gammon joint so so they've put um, a sort of um, orange and cranberry gin glaze on it um, this one has maple and bourbon on it this one has orange and honey musco muscovada um, on it oh you can choose you get one or the other so you either get it says serve with a choice of orange and blossom honey or muscovar cheese so check glaze so maybe there's two stars that they have okay and they just showed you one of them um this is what they call a british strung gammon joint i think that probably means um, but it's probably got some sort of string around it. This is a goose. This is a, a gam another gammon joint, which is um, smoked or unsmoked. And this is um, stuffed duck. And it says um stuff with um pork and clementine stuffing okay so that's that one okay let's look at the next page right this is um mostly it looks like sausages to me or what they call pigs in blankets which i'll explain in a minute Now, this one is um, a two metre long, that one, it looks like it's in a circle and it says it's a two metre long um, pigs in, pig in blanket, okay? Now, what are pigs in blankets, you might ask? Well, essentially, um, it's sausages wrapped in bacon okay and that is often provided at this time of year for christmas food okay okay so at christmas often people have these special sausages with bacon wrapped around the sausage okay and that's called a pig in blankets okay and if you have several of them it's called pigs in blankets okay normally they will talk about pigs in blankets because there's normally several of them but this is one very long sausage with a lot of bacon wrapped around it okay it's apparently a two meter long sausage okay as i've just told you okay um this is um that's number two trying to work out all the numbers here this is um stuffing baubles um this one is what they call loaded yorkshires okay and what this is is well, there's a kind of pudding we have over here called yorkshire pudding 
okay which has a lot of yeast in it and things like that it's basically a sort of very light butter um, pudding okay and it's tra a br traditional British food okay and you often put sometimes put things inside the, this um, basically very soft butter okay and then inside here um, they put um, a British pork sage and stuffing and British pork sage and onion stuffing ball with um, a pig in blanket in it okay so it's got the pork sage and onion stuffing with uh, and then on top of that they put a pig in blanket okay for in each one okay um, number four they call this um, baffled oh no 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 wonder it made no sense <laughs> right um, and this one they said um, three little pigs they called it they called it three little pigs that's this one and um, it's got caramelized onion um, sausages wrapped in honey cured smoked bacon so again it's pigs in blankets um, So I don't know what I mean by onion, British pork, cocktail, sausages. Maybe it means it's got onion inside the sausages. Um, these are roast potatoes with goose fat. And um, that's those. But those are the bigger ones. And here down the bottom it's got some parsnips um, with honey and mustard on them. Okay. Here it says um, halal me wrapped in bacon. So I think it must be some sort of I don't know what halal me is. Maybe um, it says a cheesy alternative. So maybe it's some sort of cheese thing wrapped in um, this. I don't know. Okay. So these are various other pigs in blankets. Okay. Here you've got various vegetarian and vegan options. Um, you've got um, various vegetarian bakes, vegetarian lattices, vegan parcels, veg vegetable crowns. Um, I'm not an expert on vegetable food, so vegetarian food to be honest. And here it's got a butternut and Brussels pie. Um, On the next page, it shows you various um, vegetables that you can buy, and it lists what they all are. Um, you can probably just under know what they all are. They're they're um, okay. This is a Christmas pudding. And here it's got various other uh, puddings you can buy for Christmas. Um, this one is a um, a Christmas pudding. This one is a cherry pudding, and this one is a bobbit, which is a sort of chocolate caramel and buttered rum and um, pudding okay right that's the um, first part of this catalog um, okay so that is oh I'm being pestered I'm afraid so um, that's the first part of this um, I'll show you more of the catalog later okay so thanks for watching but guys Bye.